These are documents that your bank is going to ask you for if you want a loan or a line of credit. If you want to buy a house, um, this is what the bonding companies is going to want. So look at these documents and, and just you don't have to answer me, but think to yourself, do you have access to that information? And if you do, how quickly would it take for you to access that information? If it would take you more than 24 hours, then I have some good news for you. We have five committees that we've developed within EIW, and actually of the five, unfortunately none of the committees have officially met. Um, I have, in, ha in fact, received feedback from folks, and I'd like to share that with you. So I will start with the General Contractor Development Committee. Presently, we have eight members of EIW that want to participate in the General Contractor Development Committee. The purpose of the General Contractor Development Committee is to develop a small general contractor that can uh, perform and be competitive on small works up to $2 million within the next two years. That's what the focus of the General Contractor Development Committee is. We actually have some projects that we're working on that may be up to 10 to 12 million dollars and the hope is obviously when those projects mature that the contractors that we work with in this uh, collective committee will be able to work together and perform work on, on multifamily, commercial and other government works within the state of Washington. If you have any questions with that committee feel free to email uh, me or any of the board members um, and I'll be more than happy to, to share with you when that committee will be meeting. My guess is we'll probably be meeting the first of the year and we'll be identifying candidates uh, for subject matter experts that we would like to have uh, populate that committee to provide that subject matter expertise. The other committee we have is the Government Affairs Committee and the focus of that committee is to, to bring awareness around legislative uh, issues around small businesses, elements that impact our small businesses. We just heard from Catherine and she identified that there's a problem with bonding. She didn't refer to it as a problem, but I am. She, she identified that the bonding limits have gone from five million to two million. Well, to me, as a, someone who considers himself a small business advocate, that's a problem. She also identified the only way that we have to overturn <coughs> those decisions and that is through the legislative process. This organization is not focused on that legislative process. However, to have that information and to empower you is something that we want to do. The other pieces of legislation that we've been following is job order contracting. Uh, job order contracting is an a alternative public works methodology. Anyway, these projects are typically uh, under $350,000 and the general contractors are required to subcontract 90% of the work. Um, so this is a, a nice tool to in, uh, increase capacity in the small business environment and we've been tracking it. So we would encourage you to look into it and if you have any comments uh, that are positive or critical of job order contracting, we would uh, invite you to communicate those uh, issues directly to CPARP tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Other legislation that we are following is the design build legislation as well as G general contractor construction manager uh, legislation. And there are two bills that are going to be, I believe, uh, considered at CPARB uh, that will give public agencies the ability to consider adding small and socially and economically disadvantaged to the evaluation criteria when they are selecting prime contractors. What that means is the contractors would be graded based on their past performance and their inclusion program that they have developed for that contract. And it would give other agencies to replicate things like the City of Seattle has done. The Business Development Committee is really focused on bringing uh, new clients and revenue to your businesses. We want to introduce your businesses <coughs> to those clients that you have been unsuccessful securing as clients. Those prospects that you've been working with and for some reason or another there, there hasn't been a connection. We want to explore those connections and see if we can promote your businesses through this organization and hopefully provide some success in matching your organizations with contracts. 
I've done that in my private practice and over the last four years I've been able to match our clients with over 30 million dollars worth of work. Um, and our clients, uh, the larger clients of that, have secured about a four, $147 million worth of work. So what we have tried to do is as our clients are securing this business, we're trying to match our small businesses with that. Well, EIW hopefully will be a, a, a bigger medium for us to do that. Professional development. Many of you don't have time to go back to school to fine tune those areas that maybe you didn't get to explore in college or maybe there's some, uh, some technological advances in your industry that you would like to learn more about and explore. We hope to be able to develop some uh, active learning uh, tools, online tools. You see the video cameras at all of our meetings. We do this for a reason. We try to bring value to you for those of you who are here and those of you who are unable to attend our meetings. Um, this professional development uh, and the business development pieces are going to be working hand in hand. Some of those clients that you're trying to work with want some more information. They want a few more uh, classes. They want some more um, um, licenses. They want more certifications. They want more behind your resume. We want to help you do that. We want to find out what those organizations need and require in order for you to work with them. And finally, the community collective. This group, this committee is really designed to network with other uh, community-based organizations, minority and women business organizations, contracting organizations, media organizations, public agencies. Our goal is to be able to share and be transparent all of our information. 